Amazon is bringing ARM servers to the public cloud for the first time. James Sanders is here with me to talk about this announcement. And I guess a good place to start, James, is uh, what is an ARM server and how is it different? So ARM is an instruction set that's used in billions of devices and it's licensed to different companies to, so they make their own processors for their own case. So like in smartphones, mm -hmm. Uh, smartphones are usually powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon processors, and those are ARM. And also the Raspberry Pi is also powered by an ARM processor. For Amazons, they've made their own after buying a lab in 2015 mm -hmm. to start on this project. And with this, you can use the same Linux distributions and programs that you're using on any you know, Intel-based mm -hmm. server. But with this, there's no binary compatibility between ARM and Intel servers, so you have to recompile anything that you have from source. So if you're using a package that's not provided by your Linux distribution, you'll have to recompile that from source, which is important because if you don't have the source, you wouldn't be able to use it. So definitely something to keep in mind, James, if you plan on going down this road. Um, so when it comes to ARM servers on Amazon Web Services, why does it matter? So having the ARM option gives more user choice than has ever existed before on Amazon Web Services. And with that, Intel has not one but two competitors. So with Amazon's homegrown Graviton processors and AMD's Epic processors, there's more user choice than has ever existed before. All right, and there's nothing wrong with a little competition, right? And more Certainly. customer choice. Uh, in your in your uh, piece there on Tech Republic, of course, James, you mentioned uh, Graviton. How powerful is it? What are we talking about here? So, what we're talking about are things that were fundamentally originally designed for things that are l lower power mm -hmm. than servers. So, for a smartphone, you've got eight cores, and four of those are called big cores, and four of those are little cores. With servers, you don't have to worry about battery life, so all of the cores in Graviton are big cores. Those necessarily run faster, but they run hotter and use a little more power. But the problem with this is that all of this seems to be based on 2015-era mm -hmm. A72 designs, and that is a little bit older than the Xeon processors that are available uh, on Amazon Web Services now. Mm -hmm. So it's not as powerful as the Intel offering, but it is more powerful than an ARM processor that you'd find in a smartphone. Okay, so a lot of information there. And of course, you expand on that in the article, which you will find right here at Tech Republic.